Caleb has his picks. I'm excited for that. We'll lighten the mood a little bit as look at me. Last look brought to you by Ka uh, Caleb. Brought to you by Campbell, Cunningham, Taylor, and Hahn. No contacts, no glasses. Thanks to CCTIs.com. CCTIs.com. Give me some picks, Caleb, and then I will agree or disagree with one of these sounders. Hey now. Or. That's crazy. Or. You suck. Yeah, I only save that one for the best. All right, what do you got, Caleb? Pick. All right, so we, we have 12 SEC teams playing this week, all against each other, uh, four on a bye. That gives us six SEC games and two more top 25 games, plus I have three extra best bet picks. Uh, so we got um, 11 games. I'm going to run through these real quick. All right, so we're starting um, in a top 25 game, and this is one of my best bets too. Navy plus 13.5 against Notre Dame. I think Navy covers that. Guys, it's midterm week for Notre Dame. And if you guys know history, Notre Dame always flops in midterm week because their players are, are are set on that academic standard. So I didn't know that. Hey now. So I'll just agree that that's a good one. Yeah. Yep. And also take the under 51 and a half because Navy, Navy runs the option. They play ball control. This game ain't getting 51 hey and a half. All right. Um, next, uh, this was a tough one for me. I'm taking Ole Miss to cover the 20-point spread against Oklahoma. I think with Seth Littrell being fired, I think Oklahoma is just in a disastrous state right now. Lane Kiffin coming off a of bye. I think Ole Miss just blows him out. Take the over 48 and a half, even with Oklahoma's defense being pretty good. You suck. Yeah, up. I don't think that the mercenaries or Ole Miss are going to react well to two losses before October or by mid-September. Uh, so do you? So do you? So we're oh, both kind of playing the middle game, right? In this, we one. are playing the middle game. We are. Maybe maybe Oklahoma gets rejuvenated. All right. I think, another... I think Walter Nolan's thinking, man, I'd look good in a Steelers uniform. That she probably is, actually. <laughs> um, all right, here's a good one. All right, and y'all, they, they are one and six on the year. This isn't just my take the team that's uh, underdogs. Take them to win in an outright upset. This is my upset pick of the week. Mississippi State plus six and a half against Arkansas. Take Mississippi State to upset him outright. They're at home, and they've been getting better recently. Jeff Levy's team is coming together. They're going to upset Arkansas and Sam Pittman. Book it. Take the over yeah. 58 and a half. I'm going to agree with you on that. I just feel like that's the upset. I was I was looking at the SEC schedule yesterday when I was sitting in for Will West with uh, Tyler and Will, and and I just look – that game looked weird to me. Like, mm, I could see that being upset. All right, that's weird that you yep. would pick that. Who's next? Yeah, but I got the over 58 and a half on this one. All right, so next is um, Oregon against Illinois. That's a top 25 game. It's Illinois at Oregon. You know the two-time zone rule with the Big Ten, Dave. They've been terrible against the spread this year. So I'm taking Oregon to cover the 21.5-point spread, and I'm taking the over 54.5. Hey, now. By the way, Illini, the laziest nickname in all of sports. It would be like the Tennessee Tents. That is true. But it's honestly. <laughs> at least give you get some, you get some alliteration, why? just like you do with their head coach and Brett Belima, and also Brett Belima is flying out west, and that never ends well. So he usually um, comes back married to somebody that he supposedly <laughs> never even met that worked for him, <laughs> that he met at a blackjack table. True story. Look it up, Caleb. All right, nice. tough one on this. Um, I think Alabama covers a 16 and a half point spread against Missouri. I do. I don't think they're quitting on the team yet. I think the I think the game hits the over 51 and a half. Missouri's defense is very suspect. I think they're a fraudulent team to begin with. I think Alabama covers a 16 and a half and they come together mm, I'll take more fraudulent over quitting. Hey now. But barely. What's next? All right. So uh tough one again for me, but uh the quarterback situation at Texas with them throwing Arch Manning in, which was a mismanagement by Steve Sarkeesian. There is trouble in paradise in Austin. Vanderbilt covers the 18 and a half point spread. They don't lose by 18 and a half. And this game hits the under 52 and a half because Texas offense struggles in Nashville. Shots for Sarkeesian. We remind you, you can go to Asia Cafe for a fantastic time. Asia Cafe has those uh, authentic Asian cuisine handcrafted from guarded family recipes, five locations to choose from. And they've got a great bar atmosphere as well to watch games. And they got that six to one Brazilian cocoa you can order online, asiacafe.org, asiacafe.org. Who's next, Caleb? Do you agree with me on Texas or do you think Texas covers? I think Texas bounces back and covers. All righty. Next, uh, the game of the week, Texas A&M LSU. Guys, Texas A&M plus two and a half. I don't know why they're underdogs in this one. I think I, I, they're at home, the 12th man against LSU. I'm taking the under 54 and a half. I think Kyle Field at night just makes – for sloppy play by LSU's offense. And you like AM? I, li I like AM plus two and a half. 
Hey now. I agree with that. What else? All right. And then uh, Kentucky and Auburn. I'm staying away from the spread on this game. I have no idea how it's going to go, but I'm taking Kentucky minus two and a half. But I'm huge on the under, the under 43 and a half. Nobody's going to score in this game. Hey now. I agree. <laughs> All right, so I went to my best bets. Uh, Navy plus 13 and a half is my super dog. MSU is my upset team over Arkansas and Mississippi State. Syracuse and Pittsburgh take the over 62 and a half Friday night. Points, baby. Penn State at Wisconsin take the under 47 and a half. That's going to be an ugly football game, Big Ten style. It's going to be in the 30s in Wisconsin Saturday night. And then finally, my um, I got three uh, favorite teams I think are all going to cover because I'm following the Big Ten travel rule. Uh, one's not Big Ten, though. Colorado minus five against Cincinnati. Cincinnati traveling two time zones to Colorado. Colorado covers. Indiana minus six and a half against Washington. That's going to make Dave's head explode, but Washington's traveling to Indiana two time, three time zones. And USC oh, is yeah, USC is going to cover the 13-point spread against Rutgers. What everything is Oh, no be. way. That is total. Focus. It's in L.A. Greg Shiano seems flying to L.A. That team's done. That team's as done as my grandmother's Thanksgiving turkey. Way overcooked. They're done. You left it in the oven two hours too long. I'd rather get salmonella once in my life and have turkey that's properly cooked um, <laughs> the rest of the time. <laughs>